Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some hidden features in FL Rig that could possibly save your bacon. Stick around, and we'll get right to it. So if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you may have seen the recent video that I put out where I was up on top of the mountain playing radio. And in that video, uh, I had referenced that I had to stop the camera at one point for about 30 minutes to figure out why I couldn't get a packet Winlink connection. It was as though my radio was completely deaf. Well, that turned out to be that I left noise reduction on by mistake. A few weeks later, I was talking to a friend of mine, and he asked me, he said, is it possible just to have FL Rig turn that off as soon as you start it up? Well, that was a great question. And me and him got to playing with some things and looking into it, and it turns out you can have FL Rig run a whole host of commands as soon as you uh, click on it and fire it up. So what I want to do today is I want to walk you through how we figured out exactly what the command was that we needed to enter into FL Rig to make this happen. So let's jump over to the computer and take a look at this. Okay, so the first thing we need to look at is the manual for the particular radio that you want to control. For an ICOM, it's called the CIV Reference Guide. And if you're looking for a Yezu, it's typically called uh, a CAT Operation Reference Book. Both of them give you the same information, although both companies tackle this a bit differently. Uh, we'll scroll down here in the 891 manual just a little bit. And we'll find right here that it's given us some information on how these commands are structured for the Yezu 891. Now, I'm not going to be focusing on the 891 today. I will be focusing on the 705, but I did want to point this out as to where you find this information. So let's go ahead and jump over to the CIV reference manual, our reference guide for the 705, and let's start scrolling down until we find this information here. Now, using this information, we can understand how these commands are structured. So, uh, we're going to look at this top box right here. The first two boxes will remain the same. They're the preamble for the command that you're going to use. The next box here, where the A4 is, is the transceiver's default address. The next box with E0 is the controller's default address. And that may change, uh, say, between the 705 and the 7300. Let me show you real quick where you may find this A4 information. Let's head over to the Raspberry Pi. And I've got FL Rig open and configured for the IC705. Everything is working as it should. And if you look right here, it gives us that same A4 information. And that's the default in FL Rig for the 705. Again, if you're using a different ICOM rig, you want to check that address and make sure it matches up. Now, the next three boxes are the actual commands that we're going to send to the radio. So the first four just kind of set everything up for us. The next three are the actual data. The CN here is the command number. The SC is the subcommand number. Then we have the data area and then the end of the message notation with FD. Now, let's focus on these three boxes here a bit more. If we scroll on down in this guide, you will find the command table. Here, you will see the commands to the left, the subcommands just to the right of that, and then the data that we can utilize over here in the column just to the right of the subcommand. Now, in my particular case, I'm looking to turn off noise reduction, and we're going to go ahead and turn off the noise blinker as well. So we need to scroll on through these pages until we find those commands. So here's the data that we're hunting right here. It's going to be command 16. The subcommand 22 is going to be for the noise blinker, and the subcommand 40, whoop, 40, is going to be for noise reduction. And then the data that we're going to send is 00 for off, 
or zero one for on. In my particular case, remember, I just want to shut those off every time I fire up FL rig. So armed with this information here and the information from up top, let's take a look at our commands. So here are the commands for both the noise blinker and noise reduction. Now, the one thing I can't explain to you, uh, and somebody can maybe leave it down in the comments below, I'm not sure why there is an X that precedes each of these uh, when we're entering those into FL Rig. I can only tell you that we do have to do that in order for this to work correctly. I'm assuming it's some sort of separator in the command. But what you'll see here first is that FE, FE command that initiates the command that we're trying to send. If we look back at the data structure right here in the manual, you'll see the FE, FE. So the next two things we need is A4 and E0. And you'll see those right here as A4 and E0. Now we're getting into the actual command that we're wanting to send. Remember, this was command 16, it was subcommand 22, and the 00, zero says we want to turn it off. And then FD ends the command that we're sending to the radio. You'll see the same thing practically in the noise reduction command, except for this time we're in command 16, subcommand 40. And again, we're going to use that 00, zero to turn it off. So let's take a look at how we do that inside of FL Rig. In FL Rig, go ahead and click on Config, Setup, and then we'll come down and choose Commands. Now, once this box opens up for us, let's go ahead and click on the Start Exit tab over here to the very far right. And then you'll notice we've got four different startup commands that we can give it, and four commands that we can execute when we exit out of FL Rig. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this first command here and we'll paste it into slot one. Let's go ahead and grab the second command and paste it into slot two. Now with those two commands entered in, we've got the noise blinker first and then the noise reduction. I'm just gonna go ahead and X out of this. Let's minimize those notes and get them out of the way. And what I like to do, because sometimes i found that these commands just won't stick the first time, I open uh, this back up and come down and just verify that those did save when I X'd out of the configuration dialog box. If it did, let's go ahead and hit File and Exit. Now, on the radio, you'll notice that I have both the noise blinker engaged and noise reduction engaged. Let's go ahead and open up FL Rig. And as soon as we do, it should take it just a couple of seconds and both of those will be turned off. So what else could we possibly do every time we fired up FL Rig or exited out of it? Well, anything that you find in these tables is possible. So maybe you want to move to a specific frequency. Maybe you need to uh, turn certain things on or off. Maybe you need to engage a notch filter, or maybe you want to make sure that the notch filter is disengaged as soon as you fire up FL Rig. Anything that you can find in this table, you should be able to accomplish through the startup or exit commands inside of FL Rig. So there's a look at one of the hidden features of FL Rig and how you can use it to do certain things every time you start or stop FL Rig. If you found this information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.